Yo everybody, this is Rob the Great, aka The Toy Bookie, and in today's video we are coming to with another flea market haul. Now today's flea market haul is three days. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Say Friday, we got some good stuff. Saturday, we got some amazing stuff. And Sunday, you're just gonna have to wait and find out. So stay tuned, we're gonna get to the clips, we're gonna get to the hauls. Yeah, what are we, what? What are we doing? Why are we waiting here? Why are we talking, what, this intro, what is it? No one came here for the intro, they came here to see what I got. So, uh, oh yeah, let's go. All right, uh, not too crazy today, but you know what, we're gonna keep looking. All right, so I just got in the car. I would have to say a pretty good, a pretty decent Friday. Um, nothing crazy that I think of, but I did get a big bag of like miscellaneous stuff. So there is some cool stuff to go through. Don't leave, promise there's gonna be some good stuff and there'll be Saturday and Sunday's haul. So stay tuned, we're gonna go home and we're gonna look through what I got. Probably the best thing I got this morning, I got some bagels. Everything bagels. Oh yeah, can't wait. I'm so hungry, man, I'm so hungry. All right, so here we are. We are back from our Friday flea market. Let's get into it right now. So I got a Harry Potter shirt for my wife. I try to pick up all the Harry Potter merch I could find. Nice, high quality material. You know, Harry Potter merch is always good, so I paid a dollar for that. Then I paid a dollar for the memory cards each. I actually recently got a PlayStation 2, so I'm gonna try to play old games eventually, so it's good to have memory cards. Then, what might not be too exciting is I picked up a bunch of movies because um, they're altering like a lot of movies now digitally. Like when you have a streaming service, like they take out stuff. Oh, six more minutes. Wait, this is dumber, dumber, more dumb than ever. Extended, never before seen footage. Look at that. Deleted scenes, alternate endings, and six more minutes. What? I think I know what I'm watching today. So we got that. We got the mask, Jim Carrey got my cousin Vinny, and then we got the final cut director of uh, Blade Runner. So they were two for a dollar. Then a very nice, I got Final Fantasy. I don't know that Roman noodle, noodle, no, I don't know Roman noodles. Greatest hits, they're all in there and the discs are pretty good condition. It's even got like the booklet and everything. So I only paid two bucks for this. I'm hoping this is something. I know people love Final Fantasy, so I picked it up. Uh, I'm hoping it's worth something. Um, $2, though, you can't beat that anyway. Then I paid 50 cents for this uh, Power Ranger, and this is like a uh, one of the Zord parts. So 50 cents, not bad. Hoping this will flip easy. And this is for the personal collection, I think. is uh, This is a vintage Power Ranger Christmas ornament. So I just had to pick it up. This is cool. He's got a little present in his hand, the White Ranger. I couldn't pass it up. I think I paid a uh, dollar for this. So that's not bad, a dollar, I'll, I'll pay a dollar. And then, last but not least, yeah, this is uh, stuff that I don't even know. So this is like the probably the most fun of the whole haul. Let me zoom out a little bit, because this is gonna be a lot of stuff. All right, so last but not least, this is where I got some good stuff. I paid only 10 bucks for everything that's in this bag. So first off, we got Guardians of the Galaxy 1, Chris Pratt. We got a lot of these three inch figures. So we got Red Skull, Thor, Ray Beast with ankle rockers. So I think that's a pretty good figure. Movie Falcon, we got this AT-AT driver without it missing an arm. This uh, Dr. Octopus, he's just missing his glasses, usually, they are missing the ten, uh, tendrils, ten, ten, tentacle. These are pretty sought after. A super articulated Sam Ram, uh, Rami, Sam Rami, 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 Mitt Romney. This is Spider-Man right here. Super articulated. I know people still like are searching for these figures. Toe articulation, finger articulation. Toy Biz did some good stuff back then, guys. They don't get a, enough credit. This uh, Nintendo 64 power pack, it goes in the remote. This uh, Guardians of the Galaxy comic. Uh, Iron Man figure, he's missing his shoulder pad things, but it's still a decent figure. Again, this is all 10 bucks, everything in here. Iron Man figure, Captain America, Captain America shield, even the blue shield. Wolverine, Marv uh, Marvel Universe, I think they used to be called. This another super articulated Spider-Man, but he has his feet bitten off because the guy was in a bad mood. You know, Spider-Man, I love you, but I gotta bite your feet off. Ooh, wow, we still got more stuff. Clone Wars Anakin, articulated figure. We have another Captain America with camo pants. Then we got the original Rocket Raccoon. Marvel Legends. We got Luke Skywalker Lego. Mandalorian in uh, the 
red and gray armor. I don't know who that is. We have Ahsoka, Jango Fett. Last but not least is we got Mario Partners in Time and Brain Age 2 for the uh, Nintendo DS. So hopefully that Mario game is worth the whole 10 bucks just as is. But uh, would you say this was a pretty fun deal for 10 bucks? All these figures? I'd say so. So not a crazy Friday haul, but I think, you know what? I think it did just, it did fine. I think I did fine. I only spent uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 50. Not too bad. So uh, stay tuned. Hopefully Saturday blows this day out of the water and we will be transitioning to there now. So I wasn't gonna film, but then I just was, uh... So uh, I wasn't feeling today and we actually did get a bunch of stuff. So uh, stay tuned. We're gonna head to the house and uh, we're gonna go over everything I got today. I'm pretty excited. All right, let's go. And we are back. Wow, okay, so Saturday, I went there super early. Lately, I haven't been able to sleep during the weekend, so I wake up super early. I'm just like, instead of just staying up, I could just go to the flea market. So it's, it's really beautiful, the one I go to now, and it's like in the middle of the woods, and it's just a nice walk in the morning. So I don't mind going there extra early and just waiting for people to show up. And I wasn't gonna, f as you can see, I didn't film too much today, but because I was like not finding things and then wow all in one second I found like a ton of things it all just happened like at once and I'm very happy so we actually have a pre I would say a really good haul today stay tuned you're gonna want to see this and let's get right to it I don't even want to talk about it anymore so first off um, if you remember from the last haul in the last video I bought a bunch of Harry Potter and Pokemon books this was from the same lady and she just gave this to me. She goes, oh, you like Pokemon, right? And I was like, yeah. She goes, I have a poster for you tomorrow if you come for free and a free Pokemon poster and you can have this book for free. So that was really nice. Of her. Oh, it has the, it has the poster in here. Usually the poster's missing on these things. Look at that. I love po I, ju I just love Pokemon. Look at, look at his little face right here. Look at that little Pokemon face with the bandana. Um, I got two shirts. And there, I think one of them is really good. So now this is a Suicidal Tendencies vintage band t-shirt. You know what, let's, let's move some stuff out of the way. Oh, wow, a dollar, I'm taking it. So Suicidal Tendencies sleeve print, long sleeve front and back print for a dollar. This thing is probably, I'm hoping, looks old. It's got the tag, which is good. Anytime you see a tag and not printed tags, uh, that means it's older and it's good. Year of the Psychos with a C. Um, I'm going to have to do some research into this, but either way, this is a sick, sick find for a freaking dollar. Boom. Then for a dollar, too, from the same lady, I bought this for myself. Peanuts, but it's just like the Halloween peanuts in my size for a dollar. I couldn't pass this up. There's no holes, no stains, and I was just like, vintage peanuts? Uh, sure. I love peanut butter and jelly. Here, you know what? Next we'll go to this. So now this lady thought this was a board game for some reason, but this is vintage NECA, uh, vintage NECA, uh, headlights. Now these are, uh, I don't know if I want to, do I want to open this? Let's see. Now, yeah, here we go. Look at this. This is headlights. These are, um, Halloween, uh, or, you know, just horror-themed franchise headlight things from NECA Toys. Uh, they're, they're lights that, you know, you put them up, whatever. But these are just really cool, and I think these are actually pretty rare. And they're, they look brand new. It, it's just a little bit of a dented box. I paid $2 for this. This is probably like a $100 item. If I'm lucky, um, I think so. I think I've seen stuff like that in the past. Then, I already have one of these that are in really good condition. But I bought this because they have, the board is in here, the manual, I think I needed this for the other one, and oh, this is what I needed. So now I have a complete, yes, now I have a complete um, one for my other one that's in great condition, and I only paid $2 for this. So I needed these dice for my other uh, Pokemon Monopoly, and now I have a complete one, and this still came with the minifigures. So... 
for two dollars, always pick up the Monopolies for their little minifigure guys. So very happy. Oh, let me put this away. I didn't even look for the dice. I just go two dollars. I was buying it anyway, and I was like, I bet you the dice are going to be in here, and they were. Very happy. So look at that. Four dollars already spent, and we got some great stuff. Oh, okay. Now uh, my wife is here next to me, and you're going to love this one. So. There was some lady, and I saw she had Pokemon cards on her, her, her thing. Look at this big stack of vintage Pokemon cards, right? And then she had magic cards, which I'm not really into magic, but she goes, I'm selling these for $2 each, but you know what? Just give me $2 and take both of them. So I said, boom, sold. Then when I was paying her, I look on her table, and she had... Every single Tony Hawk game, mint condition that I was looking for. Now, if you're my wife sitting right next to me, I've been telling her I need to track down all the Tony Hawk games wow. because I want to play them because I was playing them as a kid. And what does this lady have? Every single one, mint condition for a dollar each. And I don't know, man, if I'm lucky, but... I freaking did it, and I just found the memory cards yesterday, so now I can play these. I'm very happy. That's all I gotta say. So a dollar each on these Tony Hawk games. I can't, this is literally every single one in order. This is every single one, so I'm very happy. I didn't even look through this. I just, when I see Pokemon cards, I buy them. That's it. I'll look through those maybe on a video. I'm, what am I doing? I'm, I'm tracking down vintage Jurassic Park figures, and I actually needed this. Uh, this is like really pretty decent condition too, and the other ones I have are in great condition. So with a little bit of cleanup, this is uh, the Alan Grant. That's like the main guy. Mm -hmm. If you do toy photography, uh, this is of a, like a civilian style figure, just to have good in the backgrounds. Maybe you have like your horror. It's a victim for your NECA horror figures. But it was a dollar, and it's Stephanie McMahon, so I picked it up a dollar. Not bad. Now. Boy, okay, so this, I think, was the first thing I bought today. I got an inbox uh, Mario and Luigi Superstar. Let me zoom in. So this, the guy was asking $5 for. The game is not in here, but it doesn't matter. All the booklets are in here, and it's the case. This is what people want. They don't really care about the game. You can find the game cheap most times. So uh, I go, how much for this? He goes, 5 bucks. I was like, I was debating it. It was my first thing. I don't know if I want to spend 5 bucks, But then I saw on his table... He also had this case, and the case has uh, one one charger and two chargers, and I didn't even look through it. I might imagine it was like a secret Pokemon game somewhere. Uh, no. So this case, the two chargers and the box, I wound up getting for $7. So that's what you do, guys. Never just buy the one item. Always try to find another item on the table and bundle it. That's the way you maximize your, uh, your profit and your deal and your spiel. And you got the deals. Wow, that was a lot of stuff I got. Right when I was leaving, I saw this guy unloading a truck. And I go, what, did you clean out a comic book store? And he goes, no, I own a comic book store. And I said, oh, that makes sense. He had all these figures for $3 each or two for five. So I wound up getting $30 worth. I got, these are great for Mythic Legions. People have started using these as custom fodder for Mythic Legions figures. So these are good. Uh, old Marvel Legend in the box. Uh, this is a, a one that a lot of people are looking for now for Mythic Legion figures. So that's cool. And then, last but not least, a NECA clear glow-in-the-dark um, Robocop. So I paid 30 bucks for all these figures in the box. All this stuff I only paid 30 bucks for. So today, I got a lot of stuff and I didn't pay too much money for and I got a little bit of everything. So that was it for my Saturday haul. If everything works out great, we're going to be switching right over to Sunday and the great Sunday haul that I'm going to get in the future. So keep watching and uh, let's go. What are we waiting for? So it is pretty early right now. Again, I couldn't sleep, so I came here early. There's not many people here, but I did find some stuff. So we're going to keep looking. I'm hoping today's the big day. Let's do it. Okay, we're alive. So... Here we are, our Sunday haul. Now, for some reason, the flea market was like, it was live and it was dead at the same time. I think there were a lot of shoppers there, but there weren't too many sellers. Um, so that was a weird thing. I actually went twice. I went early in the morning, then I came home and I ate breakfast, and then I just went back again, and I actually found stuff both times. Let's go over everything. 
And we'll jump in with this airsoft BB gun so I could shoot some cans in the backyard. I don't know, it looks cool. I just saw this, the lady was asking 20 bucks. I just said, you know, either I'll resell it or I'll buy or I'll actually use it. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I don't know if I wanna shoot cans in the backyard, so I'll probably just sell it. But for 20 bucks, uh, it looked like too big and cool and weird to not pass, you know, just to pass up on. So that was 20 bucks. Then this Nerf, look at this. This is Nerf Night Jam Nerf Hoot Lights, Lights Out Game On. It's like you put it on the back of your door. 2004, so vintage Nerf, whatever this thing is, I just knew it was like that old Nerf logo. I was like, okay, I have to buy this. The guy goes three bucks. I said, all right, paid, done. So three dollars for that. I looked, quick look online. I couldn't find this exact one, but newer ones go for like 50 bucks. So I think that's a good purchase right there. My second trip, I found some biker guy. He had Bike Week 1997 Harley Davidson vintage hat that looks brand new. Like he doesn't look like he really wore this. And this is a vintage snapback. Just old snapbacks are cool. Not worn or lightly worn maybe a few times. So both pretty nice new hats. Three dollars each, but I got two for five. Not bad. Hopefully this one sells for a, a zillion dollars and, and, you know, it's all good. My first purchase of the day was these random Jazzawares Sonic figures. Some of these are worth some money. I, I, and I think actually this guy is the yellow or the golden Sonic, whatever the guy's name actually is. This figure right here is like 40 bucks and they just butchered it with marker. So I'm gonna try to clean this guy up because if this kid just used like Crayola marker, I hope, I, I'm praying, then I could clean this up and sell it. I don't know, this looks like the kid just totally massacred it, but it, I only paid quarter each. So you know what, for a quarter each, I'll take that chance. If anything, maybe I could repaint it. What have I been trying to find? The vintage Jurassic Park figures? I found another one today, only a dollar. So I think I might have everyone from that first uh, wave, 1993, these all say. So I don't know, but I'm excited about that. So that's cool. Look at this. Now, this is a vintage Goosebumps pinball machine Goosebumps? that I actually had. I had this exact pinball machine when I was a kid. Oh, there's a broken piece in there. Piece right here. I was like, what is that glue right there? It's supposed to be down. This might be easy to take apart and fix See right up there. Um, and then it's also, this back part is a little broken and there's acid. Uh, inside the battery compartment, but that's easily fixable. I think I'm gonna try, I'm gonna take this apart and I'm gonna fix that thing and then I might just keep this. But I know vintage Goosebumps stuff is pretty money right now, so I definitely had this as a kid. Walt Disney World Resort official handkerchief things or scarf, whatever you wanna consider this. Look at that, it's of the map of the. Does that have a year on You know what? There should be a year. Or, well, we can see if it calls it Downtown Disney. It just says Disney. This is MGM Studios. Oh, so that's old. Oh, yeah, it's got that, that Disney, thing. Downtown Disney area. I got Harry Potter, <laughs> Harry Potter, another Harry Potter, and another Harry Potter. I got lots of Harry Potter. I got a lot of. Oh! There's one missing. I actually. And I got another Harry Potter. Hold on. Because I was like, wait, that's not what I did. Five Harry Potter books for four dollars. I saw this from that lady with the gun, and I was like, what? And of course, nothing was in it. So she gave me this for free. But then look at this, hon. Vintage, I used to have that. Vintage Tommy Girl tin, but look what was inside. Perfume. Vintage Nintendo. What? Nintendo 1990. This is... That's cool. 1990. It's in there. It's brand new. What? This has to be worth money. That's so cool. Vintage 90s stuff. This is probably, this is probably like the most worth money thing I have right here. Look at this. And then, uh, just to throw in there, it's a USPS Bugs Bunny stamp. So that's like the actual stamp they were selling. Another one, one of those Hogwarts castles. But, what? look at this. It actually has some of the pieces. So, oh my God. in Snape's office, there's a Snape mini. You never find these oh minifigures, so hold on. You got, how do I spin this around? So we have a Snape. Oh, oh no, wait. Yeah, wait, this, there was a Ron in here. There he is. So we have a Snape. Now we have a Ron. Those are two little minifigures. Those are always good to get. And then, I don't think the guy selling it knew that there's all secret passageways and stuff, so 
there, there could be more of the characters, so let's see. Oh, this is another secret compartment back here, but nothing was there. And then there's a little secret drawer back here that... Hard to open if this is for kids. Ah, uh, nothing. Usually that's where people, like, they put some of the accessories. Wait, but there might be some more stuff. Yeah, so not bad. And I only paid $5 for this. So that's pretty good. Usually it's missing one of these, or it's missing, like, major parts. This is only missing, like, a, a few minor things. And we got Snape and Ron. I believe that was it. I didn't spend too much, so that's good. But, again, nothing super crazy. No, I, I think so. That's it. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate everybody who's checking this stuff out. I promise as the weather gets nicer and the world gets more normal, the, the hall should be better and bigger. I'm actually surprised with how they are already. For the amount of people who are at the flea market right now, I think it's pretty good. I was expecting less. So I'm happy. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying these. There'll still be other videos. So if you're, you know, nothing's going to be taken away. I hope everyone's enjoying this. Stay great, guys. This is Rock with the Great, a.k.a. The Toy Bookie. I want to thank all my Patreon members. You guys rock. Anyone who wants to subscribe to my Patreon, links down below. Any money from the Patreon goes right back into the channel to help bring more videos and better videos. And that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace. We're out of here. I got to go clean up, and I got to put all this stuff away. The worst part of flea marketing. Bye, guys.